Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. Oh, there's two people here. Now I'm just going to say this, okay, to start off, either there's two different people in your energy, somebody relatively new and somebody you know. Now for some of you all, there's an energy here of you being in a love triangle with somebody who's got somebody else or you were, right? This person had a third party. Maybe you had a third party, um, but you feel like there was a really good match between the two of you, right? So you could feel some form of soul tie here, or this could be a soulmate or twin flame. That's for some of you all. Now, some of you might be dealing with two different people. There's somebody who you used to deal with that had you in a third party or they wanted you to be in a third party and you chose not to be in that type of situation. Good for you. And then we've got somebody new here that's either just entered, entered your life or there's somebody here who is going to come into your life who's going to be a really great match for you. So keep that in mind, okay? But let's do more digging and see what else. Yeah, <laughs> Let's let's keep ooh, there's a lot of fire and passion here between you and somebody new. But just be careful because there is an energy here of someone having a lot of you you having fun with a lot. Ooh, maybe you are having fun with a lot of people. I don't know. I didn't mean to say that, but there's an energy here of you guys enjoying yourselves. Maybe you do have multiple options. Somebody here I feel like has a multiple more than one option but there's a really strong attraction between you and this other person it's like oh i feel so good around them i have a great time um this person is very attractive male or female doesn't matter you find them extremely attractive and like you might be getting seduced here is what it looks like someone here might be sending it some pictures some new pictures or something racy so you know yeah Oh, child, I don't know who this person is. Friends with benefits here. You're, you're going to have more than one. Look at what's on the top of the deck. More than one love in store for you, okay? So you're going to have a crush. And look at what's underneath that. Thank you, Spirit. I know I was getting two different people in this. Having a crush on somebody new, okay? And then having more than one love available to you. But one of these people, again, could be you. You could be the one who has, who has the options. And that's cool, you know, if that's your thing, I think you should date around. I think you should explore your options. Just, you know, be careful about who you are sending um, <laughs> sexy pictures to, okay? Or whoever it is that you might be sexting. Somebody could be trying to send you some pictures, the player that just wants to be friends with benefits here, and you're like, nah, no thank you. No thank you. I'm going to move to directly into tarot. I want to see, show me this person who's got the collective in a, or wants to have the collective in a love triangle. This person who wants friends with benefits situation, show me their energy. Ooh, Ten of Wands. Yeah, a bunch of ba baggage, a bunch of burdens. You could have already left this person and ended it because they had too, many, too much baggage. They had a lot going on in their lives. Yeah, you, ooh, you moved on. Okay, this is good. Or, or, or you are going to move on, okay? I, ten of Wands and the Wheel. Ten, ten. You could be seeing um, tens, okay? Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. So somebody's will, ready to move away from the burden and the drama. Yeah, they are. You could be a Libra or dealing with a Libra here. Justice. You're like getting good karma, walking away from something. Either way, somebody here. If they play with your heart or they play with your emotions and they try to put you on a love triangle, they were honest with you, they lied to you, um, and this person just, you know, lied about or maybe misleading. However, this person was deceptive to you, right? Because I feel like maybe for some of you all, this person was like, listen, I only want... Um, friends with benefits, I don't want anything serious, which I don't feel like they led with that. I don't feel like they led with honesty I, because there is some confusion here. At one point, there was some confusion and this turned into a burden, Ten of Wands. So yeah, this person that did that to you, they're going to get their karma for whatever they did, but so are you. And I feel like you're going to get, having after having dealt with a player, that player could have been a female, that player could have been um, a male, doesn't matter the 
um, sex, right? Or the gender, however you want to put that. You're going to get someone new that you're going to have a crush on that's going to be very refreshing. Um, and you're going to have more than one option to choose from, okay? Yeah, this is you, Nine of Wands. Mm -hmm. Standing on business, you know? That's what I feel like here. Yeah, you're ready to move on, Three of Wands. You're just standing on business and I feel like ready to look towards the future and you're not. Because this person in this Three of Wands, the Three of Wands is facing in the future. They're not looking behind them. They're like ready to move forward. So what what is the collective, my collective singles, what are they ready to move on to? Or what are they getting ready to move on to? The Six of Cups, good. A soulmate maybe even. Somebody who's a lot of fun. That's definitely crush energy with the Six of Cups. Show me more about the Six of Cups. Yeah. Uh -huh. like, oh, a divine masculine. They could be a male or female. Doesn't matter. Okay. Moving on in the future with an emperor. Could be an Aries. They don't have to be an Aries here. That's just the zodiac energy. Let's see this emperor's energy here. This new person this emperor oh they want to talk somebody wants to talk here oh this might be somebody you know not okay the, okay for some of y'all this could be somebody you know because the the nine of wands the nine of swords came out with the eight of wands and now the knight of cups is here now i still feel like bottom of the deck is the sun leo energy this is good There's some sort of stress and anxiety about whether or not this person's in their head or offering something to you. They want to offer something to you. They feel like you you are going to feel like, let's get more information here. Show me more about this emperor. Show me more about this emperor. Somebody's ready to talk and make a love offer, okay? Not, ooh, yeah. Hello, two of cups. You're going to like this person, man. Cherry energy, cancer. You're going to like this person. A new beginning, the fool, more Aries energy. You're going to actually like this person, but someone is going to have a little anxiety. Maybe this is somebody who's nervous to come towards you. They could feel like you, the collective, has all these options and like you're not going to choose them. How is the emperor viewing the collective? How is this emperor viewing the collective? Look at this. There was that passion. They feel like you have choices and options, to be honest. Let's be real. They do. Gemini energy, okay? They feel like there's a strong bond, a strong magnetic attraction, and definitely they feel like there's a great physical connection between the two of you. The lovers is about a choice, right? Having options, choosing the best option for you. So this person knows, collected, that you are going to make the best option for you. You're going to make the best choice for you at the end of the day. But they also feel like you have options, right? And not only do they also feel like you have options, I feel like they're are going to be highly attracted to you and with the two of cups being here with the six of cups there's definitely a soul tie you've met this person before in a past life because this is another indication of a past life soulmate a soul tie a divine union we also have the emperor here so this emperor knows like you feel familiar to them they feel like they've traveled many lifetimes and spent many lifetimes with you they feel like very comfortable with you so but i feel like with this nine of swords being here, it's like this person's like, do I want to say something to the collective? Do I not? Do I approach them? They probably have all these options. Oof. How does this emperor feel about the collective? How does this emperor feel about the collective? Oh my goodness. To, they feel like you've got options collective. Two of pentacles. They feel like you might be juggling here. They feel like you may not choose them. With this two of pentacles, they may feel like you're busy. You have a lot going on in your life and you don't need a man or you don't need a woman. You might not be focused on a relationship. You may not be ready for a relationship. You're going to take it slow. <clears throat> yeah, they may feel like you you don't really know. Are you looking for someone? Uh, this person's nervous about whether or not you're looking for somebody serious or not. How is this emperor feeling about my collective, please? Ooh, okay, balance. So if you're busy, I'm going to say this temperance energy, Sagittarius, okay? 
with the two of pentacles and the temperance card coming out this is somebody here who wants to if they know you're a busy person or you work a lot or you work hard or you have a lot of things going on in your life they want to help you this is somebody here who wants to help bring balance and stability into your life they want to help you bring peace and harmony into your life they do um or maybe this person is busy and they feel like you will bring peace and harmony and balance into their busy lives still getting good energy from this uh, show me more about how this emperor is going to feel about the collective here or is because for some of you you may maybe you met this person already some of you have not met this person yet okay yeah they want to give equally i'm telling you this person wants to give you their heart they might even be a gift giver this is somebody here who's going to want to spend time with you collective six of pentacles okay taurus virgo capricorn energy very grounding and stable this person wants to either ground you or they feel like there's something about you that brings balance into their life or stability in their life the six of pentacles and the temperance card is a strong indication of somebody looking for something equal give and take and balance somebody who is willing to put in the work okay they are uh show me more about this emperor how they feel about the collective yeah mm -hmm. okay six of swords and the hermit bottom of the deck is that sun card again definitely leo energy man somebody's in their head somebody's in their head they're in their head so especially with this hermit they may feel like they want to take you out because you're in the house a lot like this is what this is energy this is giving me like maybe your home body <clears throat> somebody here could be an overthinker too this person is trying not to overthink let's get some more energy and move to another day they could be a virgo you could be a virgo show me more here about for the collective and this person and this masculine we're gonna jump to the kipper deck Oh, yeah. Okay. A lot of you haven't met this person yet. We have we have occupation, which is like Eight of Pentacles energy. I'm going to tell you what I see here. Then we have Distant Horizons. And then we have Journey. So there's a strong indication here, especially with the Six of Swords being here, that somebody's either moving on traveling somewhere moving fast somebody here might love to travel or someone may have some travel plans you might meet this person when you're traveling for work or you're traveling for vacation or you're traveling to see family or something okay i feel like somebody's on a journey by themselves okay this could be you by yourself on a journey a spiritual journey but i strongly feel like this is just not just a spiritual journey i feel like this is spiritual and physical too um, it's just like you're unhinging yourself and walking away from these burdens, right? This Ten of Wands and releasing that and, and going into the Six of Swords energy, which is moving on with your life, not looking back in the past, not worried about the past, letting go of whatever this other person was that you had options with that was confusing and complicated. You know what I'm saying? It's like you've done the work, you've done the healing work on yourself. You've, you've used your wisdom, you've used your discernment. You're very wise now and it was a wise choice for you to move on from anything drama out or you know anything that seemed like it was confusing or complicated or put you in a really uncomfortable position or something you didn't deserve this person is going to see you as such yeah so what about this journey Either way, the journey of could the journey could be like I said, spiritual meaning like you worked on yourself. Cause Eight of Pentacles energy is also about self mastery. You doing a lot of work um, on your shadow side. Let's see, imprisonment. Somebody's feeling stuck. What's this imprisonment about? Somebody's definitely stuck in their head here. A mature woman. Okay. Somebody could be stuck to a mother and a main female. Yeah, okay. There, yeah, somebody here could be divorced or something from someone. 
okay they were stuck in a connection with a older female and then there's a younger female here this person could be like um with their somehow some way tied to their mom or have like they're a clingy mom okay is what i'm gonna say here I, I i don't know why this is coming out and then we have a totally different person here which is the main female let's get some energy on this mature woman can you show me this mature woman's energy please mature woman's energy yeah see this is either somebody here that they're taking care of that someone could have passed away or this is like some attachment to someone this person could be a scorpio let's get more information though show me this mature woman's energy oh show me the mature woman's energy Okay, the Ten of Pentacles just fell out sideways on the floor, and the Knight of Wands is here on the bottom of the deck with the Page of Wands. <sighs> two things, okay? Because <laughs> I'm getting two storylines. Someone here has moved on from this mature woman, right? Separated from this mature woman that they were in a family situation where they could have recently gotten a divorce someone could have recently gotten a divorce mature male mature woman doesn't matter flip and switch the gingers they ended a third party situation they ended it right they're like i'm not gonna be a third party or this other person was like i'm not gonna be a third party right or the third or the third party is a clingy mom right for some of you guys this could very well be you you could be the mature woman who's like was stuck in an energy with with a third party uh someone who tried to put you in third party and you deaded it you're over it the death card and the three of cups you're like no i'm not gonna do this i want to be this main female i've learned my lesson now i am mature and wise and know what i'm not gonna deal with or i or you see somebody for something for what it is like oh shit. The connection seems great when you meet this person, so just be careful. Use your wisdom and your discernment. Somebody could be out here trying to, you know, act like they want to wife you up and like they want more, but they could be in another connection with a baby's mother or a baby's father. They could even be married and saying they're divorced or separated and this person is not and you're seeing their true colors. But there's another person here that, that you're going to love and that's going to love you. And I don't see third party energy for this emperor. Anywho, show me this main female energy. Yeah, you're going to have options. Seven of Cups, or you're going to be confused. Show me this main female energy. Seven of, okay, somebody could be born in 1977 here. We got the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. You have options and you're not going to wait. I mean, no, you have options and you are going to wait for the right one. That's what I really mean to say here. You know your value and your worth now. Yeah, you're not going to be played with. Show me this energy of this main female. Whether you're a man or a woman or not. Yeah, you're going to wait however long it flipping takes. This Knight of Pentacles plus this Seven of Pentacles is the Eight of Pentacles. You're going to do the work date around have fun work on yourself and you're not gonna settle is what i'm getting you may have waited for a while somebody's watching you by the way somebody's watching you queen of cups you could be a watch sign you don't have to be somebody wants to talk to you yeah look at that eight of, wand, eight of wands page of uh wands somebody's gonna want to come towards you and talk to you and i know that's this emperor so just wait i feel like this is you waiting like, because the Queen of Cups is looking directly at this, it's facing all of this energy, the Seven of Cups, this Seven of Pentacles, and this Knight is moving towards this Queen of Cups, and they're facing each other. Okay, so you're going to wait, but you're going to wait patiently because you got options. Show me this Queen of Cups energy. All right, show me this Queen of Cups energy. This Queen of Cups is somebody very loving very emotionally vulnerable and available oh wait a minute show me this queen of cups oh what's getting ready to happen show me this queen of cups what was that 
you guys, the nine of wands just fell on the floor. The heck is going on here? Give me a minute. Because I feel like somebody here is shocking. Somebody here is about to shock you. Look at this. Seven of Swords in the Tower. Scorpio energy, air sign energy here. Who's, who is running off on the plug? Who is this? And what is this about? What's this tower about? And this seven of... Oof. Be careful, like I said, somebody being manipulative here. Because there's definitely a manipulative energy here. Show me more about this tower and the seven of swords. One thing you don't know... Listen, you don't need to learn another lesson. I feel like there might be another lesson coming towards you on you picking and choosing wisely. I just do, okay? The hair fight with <clears throat> the eight of wands. Could be a Taurus, doesn't have to be. What's this communication and action about? I don't like it coming towards you fast or somebody's angry and upset. What's this eight of wands? I gotta do some more digging. The hair, you could be dealing with somebody here who is a Virgo or somebody. Man, I just feel like you gotta learn a lesson and, and use some wisdom here the chariot it's like something's coming towards you fast either some news you're about to hear some news some gossip even maybe i don't know what's this hermit about somebody could be coming towards you to tell you they walked away from a situation or they're single or something eight of cups show me the hermit oh what is this? The devil. They could be a Capricorn. Eight of Cups of Devil. What's this devil about, please? There's that gossip. What is this gossip? This turned really crazy quick. What is this? Yeah, this is gossip. Page of Wands just came out right after the devil and the Page of Swords. It's some malicious ass gossip. Or somebody coming towards you to tell you something and they not telling the whole damn truth. It's a lie. What is this? Eight, eight of wands, three of wands. Give me one more, please. Anyway, what's this page of wands? Somebody might just want to come towards you just to have sex and seduce you. Yeah. I don't like this. Bottom of the deck, three of swords and the high priestess. Somebody hiding some shit. They're only doing something for their own selfish gain. And they're planning this. Like they're trying to, they, they, they're sneaky. I don't, be careful with this person. I'm telling you, who wants to have you in a confusing love triangle, okay? Somebody who wants to seduce you, you know, act like they're the perfect match for you. They want to, I don't know, they're going to want to talk or whatever, but like, it's a friends with benefits situation. Yeah. What about this new person? <laughs> Spirit's trying to warn you. That's why they keep telling me about this thing, like moving back to this past person. I can't control the message here. What's the new person's energy for the collective, please? The new person is somebody who's going to want to build a future with you, like I said, okay? this Whoever this per new person is, uh, they you could be a single parent, and this person or this person may want to have a child with you, but whoever this new person is, they are going to be the love of your life, and they are going to want to build a future with you. Like, they're going to be very trustworthy, too, and there's definitely going to be a very strong a, a energetic attraction between you and this person. This person sees you as being very confident. Like I said earlier, they feel like you may have options, and you do, but just don't be picking the wrong option, the person who wants to keep you in that other drama out stuff, right? This is somebody who's definitely going to want to get to know you, figure out what you, the two of you, it's like you're going to have goals that are in common. You're going to be able to sit down, talk, laugh with this person, get to know them and talk about your dreams, you know, and learn more about each other. Like this is somebody who wants to hear you talk 
and then just build with you and grow with you all right but there is a caveat caveat i feel like to this of you like facing your inner fears and being open and vulnerable with somebody here so uh just recognize what's holding you back if you feel like you need to protect yourself or if there's a need for you to not be vulnerable ask yourself why right? Why am I being this way? And I'm not saying don't trust your intuition, but just check in with yourself to hear because um, that might be holding you back from having a healthy, loving relationship with, um, you know, other people. You may feel like, you know, don't take things too fast. If you want to get to know them, then do that. This person, I believe, is not going to take it too fast. They're going to take their time. I feel like there's somebody else in your energy who is going to be moving real fast with this Knight of Swords and this Eight of Wands and Nine of Cups. I feel like somebody's like, let's have drinks. Let's talk. And then boom, let's have sex. My intentions are <laughs> not pure. Ace of Wands. No, they might just want to come to your house and hang out and chill. That's a no. Be mindful of that because all it's going to do is break your heart. You're going to be upset with this person. Um, or you're going to be mad at them for, you know, anyway, I'm, I'm just feel like I'm rambling now. So be careful. I love y'all hit the like button. I'll see y'all later. Um, if you need a personal reading, that information is below in the description box. Okay.